Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again. That's for Art. And I'm sitting here talking to my friend Louisa Hamachek. And I was asking her, you know, we're talking about the urgency of closing down Hanford immediately because Hanford is only 15 miles away from the Columbia Generating Station. So we want to put a big push. And we kind of decided we're not going to. I'm not going to participate on the Earth Day celebration. We are going to have a protest here in Eugene in front of the federal building on the real Earth Day, April 22nd. We're going to have a protest. So I don't know what we'll pull together, but I like that way better than going down to the stupid celebration of Earth Day while the fucking Earth is falling apart and Hanford's still going. So... <laughs> I was talking to Lou about the fact that we seriously like, why aren't people stopping? And what did you say to me about why people are buying the bullshit about the radiation, not being freaked out about Fukushima? Well, I would say that they don't want to know much more about it in reality because everybody that they know is getting cancer and getting radiation treatment and it's common for every old person to talk to their sister and their mom and their daughter about the radiation treatment. So, aren't you having radiation? Oh yeah, that's right. I start radiation next week. That's right. And Jenny started radiation and let's go do radiation. So everybody is like counting on radiation to uh, cure their cancer they got or give it the best go, along with chemotherapy. So we are a society that is got, what, a, a quarter of our people get cancer, and of them they decide surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, and so they're not going to say no nukes, because nuclear radiation is a healing element and not a deathly thing. So there's this denial about how bad is radiation, and whether that it causes mutations and birth defects and um, well, this, this is the thing that I've been talking about in my videos. Is that there's denial by scientists. This is a thing. Like when scientists lie, people die. But not just that. When scientists lie, it's not science. It is not science when scientists lie. So that's what we've got. And so now we've got a whole bunch of scientists who are quote scientifically trained to exclude data, exclude data about nuclear radiation. Yeah. That's not science. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is why we're having a celebration on Earth Day instead of people fucking jumping up and down because they think they need the radiation to heal them. Well, um, that we have other cures no, but that there's actually another, can I want to defend cancer. the jumping up and down and, and flitting about like fairies on Earth Day because um, we need that too. Because if we go around screaming and moping and I'm not saying screaming and moping. I'm then, saying we need to actually get people to get actively yeah, engaged. And I think that is healing. To be active and say, and not to be in denial, and to say uh, various elements of the federal government uh, projects are emitting radiation, and that's not something we'll tolerate as citizens. We need to go protest every federal facility about their leakage. Tell them what you're going to do about running on the water board. This is how we get actively engaged. Oh, yeah. And okay, explain so, why it's important. Okay. I hope this comes through in this wonderful cafe. It will. Okay. I've done this before. All right. So, um, the uh, Columbia Generating Station, which is this old uh, nuclear power plant that is at the bomb factory of Hanford. It's on the grounds of what was the nuclear reservation where there used to be eight, seven active running uh, nuclear power plants along the uh, bend of the Columbia River where uh, they pumped up the uranium to be plutonium to put into nuclear bombs like the Nagasaki bomb, etc. All those ones that were tested out in the South Pacific and ruined the Marshall Islands. All kinds of those came from Hanford in the years after uh, Hiroshima when they test them out until like and into the 50s and then they blew up some that were so big they realized they didn't know how to control them so they backed off on that but and that was emitting all this radiation but at any rate back there at the home of Hanford they dumped the nuclear waste right there and those tanks are leaking and that's what Lonnie was referring to the the um, being this nuclear power plant the Columbia generating station oh also called CGS to be short um, was the old was part of the old bomb complex and is the only operating nuclear reactor on the grounds that's still going. 
and um, there could be a earthquake and according to physicians for social responsibility it would, could be bigger at this point than the uh, Columbia generating station was engineered to withstand and that's what the new science has found. It was built in the 40s, or no it wasn't, it was built later than that, but the original um, nukes at Hanford were built in the 40s. Um, anyways, so um, uh, we need to, in, uh, it turns out that the Columbia Generating Station now is officially owned by Energy Northwest, which is a collection of a, co uh, it's kind of an alliance. This is how all nuclear, and how, this is how they all are, they're all cooperative. I, I have no idea, but I, I know that I've Columbia, looked into it. Okay. So they set it up this way so that they all have to buy nuclear right. power. Right, and check it out. Who's liable for the mistake when it breaks and radiates all the businesses of the wheat field? 70% of our wheat is grown downwind of there. Uh, the wineries, the apples of the, of the uh, Washington state that are so famous for the uh, sheep for the wool, Pendleton wool, uh, south of there, Walla Walla, the college town, all these colleges, all these new, uh, anyways, besides that, it's owned by, the point is, it's owned by um, cooperative, uh, rural, a collective of rural electric cooperatives, and in the surrounding areas around Eugene is Lane Electric Co-op, it turns out to be one of the co-ops of the Northwest. So all the way up to Washington, I think over to Idaho, down to, um, anyways, Oregon, are these small electric co-ops that are all collectively responsible for the nuke. So I say, if you are in one of those areas, like I am up in the mountains, uh, outside of Oak Ridge, I mean outside of Eugene, that I can um, uh, get an electric account in my name by not being the renter or by being the renter, whichever, and then I am part of the co-op. Then I have a Could right. Could I do this with you? Yeah, I think so. I forgot to check that. I checked my own Lane Electric Co-op. And so you got to look. And I think it was Physicians for Social Responsibility or Energy Northwest, um, their website. Energy Northwest is the over fake company okay. that Bonneville Power is who buys it all. But I believe Bonneville Power so is what a are you huge doing? See, this is a point of this. Is she's going to run for the board on the electric co-op. By having an account in your name, you can run for the board and be a speaking up member of the club. And say we don't want nuclear and have that be a... And you so don't have to run for the board to be speaking up. So you can just proceed with bringing something to the board that they have to deal with because you're a member that says you're upset about their investment and risk of your money. So like if, if you I talk got money, it's really good because who's going to pay for the... Uh, damage to those wheat fields and the barges yeah, on the Columbia yeah, River and yeah, yeah. all the businesses that are going to go out of business if that You're thing talking their language, sis. You talk money here because somebody's going to be responsible for not shutting that down before it, it messes yeah, up. Yeah, it only yeah. makes 3 to 5 percent of the electricity. So what else did you do? This is called activism, people. I mean, money you know, activism. What else are you doing? Money she talk. has talked to Chuck from Physicians for Social Responsibility. He was very concerned and he is actually coming here what day? May 21st to Eugene. We're, yeah, we're going to put together some place to conduct a symposium for him to talk about the dangers of it. And I guarantee you I'll be there and I'll ask him about the ocean again so we yeah. can get his take on it. For and Chuck Johnson is uh, in charge of the nuclear affairs of Physicians for Social Responsibility in uh, the Oregon Washington Territory. Right. So he is dead set to get it shut down, the nuke at Columbia Generating Station. My way is to get Congress to get it shut down by all the residents of the Columbia Basin. So that's what the symposium will be, is to shut down the Columbia Generating and Station. And why. Okay, so then can I ask you, uh, do you have anything else that you want to add to this? On Earth Day, everybody should go to their federal facilities in their town, like the post office. On April 22nd. Yeah, April 22nd has been since 1970, Earth Day. And a lot of people are doing it on the 25th to make it convenient for the party. This year... Uh, Saturday the 25th is when towns have little festivals and Eugene will be having a uh, Earth Day in the park and I, I think in Alton Baker Park and yes. there will be a table for nuclear information. Yes. At, um,